Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Gianna Lian and I basically just bring you along throughout my life. So guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I have a massive book haul for you guys. I know how much you guys love my book hauls, so... I got another one guys. I actually got these as my Christmas present so it's like a Christmas book haul. I'm so happy with all the books that I received and I wanted to share them with you ASAP. The first book that I got was Tell Me Lies by Carola Levering. And this one actually recently just started becoming popular. There is a TV adaptation on Hulu for this, and I've heard that the TV show is really, really popular, but of course I had to read the book first. You guys already know. I mentioned this in my holiday vlog. If you guys haven't watched that already, go watch that. I never ended up explaining what it was, so this is basically a toxic romance. We have our main character, and she just wants a fresh start. She's going into college, new friends, new surroundings, everything new. She just wants to forget everything in the past and just start brand new. Until she meets our love interest and he's this charming, attractive, complicated man. And obviously our main character falls for this guy really fast. Like it's love at first sight for her. But obviously some things follow. It is not a healthy relationship and their toxic addiction to each other seems to end up hurting them a lot. And we obviously have a lot of back and forth and craziness going on so I'm excited to get into this one because I feel like I haven't really read a full-on toxic romance before so it's definitely something new that I wanted to try to get into going into the new year. I'm very excited to get into this one. Next we have I Want to Die But I Want to Eat Taboki. Uh, this is by Bake Sehi. I don't know how to pronounce that. This book has been on my radar for a long time and I realized that it wasn't even released until recently. So I'm so happy I got my hands on it right when it released. I've heard lots of good things about this book, especially in the book community, but this one is a memoir. And let's just take a second for this cover. I've never seen a book with this cover before. That obviously drew me in right away as well. But our author, because this is who the book is about, she is a successful social media producer and media director at like this very successful firm. But she ends up starting to go see her psychiatrist to talk about her depression, which she doesn't really believe that she technically has at that time. So the book is basically her recording her psychiatry sessions that she has over the 12 week period and kind of reflecting on them. And we get an inside scoop on kind of like seeing how those sessions are going, how she's progressing, how she's feeling and stuff like that. It says that it is a therapy memoir for the social media generation, a book to keep close and to reach for in times of darkness. With the generation that we are in I think that this book is going to be very very real and raw and I think that there's gonna be a lot of life lessons learned in this book and really taking a deeper dive into how our generation with social media and mental health really are affecting all of us and really showing the true colors of it all to be honest so this one's pretty pretty short but it is a memoir so I'm very excited to get into this because I am branching out and trying to pick up more memoirs. I feel like this is gonna be a perfect one. Next we have Things I Wanted to Say by Monica Murphy. This one has been loved by a lot of the people I follow in the book community. So I knew that I had to put this on my book wish list for Christmas because I just had to get my hands on it. I wanna see all the hype of everyone that's talking about this book. So I'm pretty sure that this is more of like a private school romance because we have our main character, the love interest, the guy, and his family is very, very known in their school. His family's name is posted right on the sign and every Everyone knows him, but it says he's a menace on campus, adored and feared, hated and respected. His taunting words carve into my skin, shredding me to ribbons. Yet his intense gaze scorches my blood, fills me with a longing I don't understand. When he comes to my rescue one night, he ends up broken, bleeding. My instincts scream to leave and let him suffer, but I can't. I sneak him into my room, clean him up, fall for his lies, let him possess every single part of me until I'm the one left a gasping, broken mess. So, seems like we have a lot of drama going on. It's 
it seems like this book is going to be craziness. <laughs> from what I've heard from other people, they've basically told me that this book is just chaos. So I'm very excited to get into this one. It seems like it's similar to Tell Me Lies, but I've also been wanting to pick up a book from Monica Murphy for a long time now. So I'm very excited that I get to start with this one because of how much love it's gotten. Next we have Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Susan. I don't know if this one is considered a classic, but I'm pretty sure this one was written in the late 19... 70s I want to say 1950s I'm not too sure I'm gonna have to fact check that and put it up on the screen but this book is really really old it actually says on the cover it's the 50th anniversary for it but I've heard lots of love from this book by a lot of my book friends it's basically set in the time period when women were born to become housewives like they were destined to just become housewives but it says on the back that it's a pop culture classic which is kind of cool I've never read anything like that before but it says that it is a book that tackles women's rights, gay rights, drug addiction. We basically have two characters that become best friends and they're determined to climb their way to the top in the entertainment industry because they want to leave behind all the social standards and all the rights that were made in their time period and break those, basically have a new destiny for themselves other than just becoming housewives. So it's basically their tale of climbing to the top of the entertainment industry really just trying to make it but yeah it seems like this is gonna be a really cool book and something that I also have not really read before so I'm super excited that I picked this one up next we have the bad reputation duet by Krista and Becca Ritchie Krista and Becca Ritchie they are very very popular authors they wrote the addicted series and a few others that I am not too familiar on but I actually want to start reading the addicted series I have the first book just haven't gotten around to it I wanted to pick up another one of their books well this is actually two in one that's why it's so thick I've heard lots of good things about this one and obviously the cover I had to pick it up I've never seen a cover like this before it drew me in like every other book this one's really short of a synopsis so I'll just read you the back it says everyone knows the hills mega rich and salaciously famous no one knows shy quiet Willow Moore until she makes one daring move that changes her world forever at 17, Willow moves across the country to connect with her famous older brother, Lauren Hale. Before she can even say hello, she runs into the teenager who's been vandalizing Lauren's house with his group of delinquent friends. Wow. So it seems like we have like a friend's brother romance. I don't know what trope that's called, but it says Garrison Abbey is off limits as decreed by her very protective older brother. See, that just sounds suspenseful and drama driven already. As you can tell by the theme, I'm picking up a lot of books in the new year that are chaotic, but I feel like those are fun I don't know <laughs> it sounded good and I also wanted to try to pick up some more known authors books this was one of the ones that I chose <laughs> next we have bleeding heart yard by Ellie Griffiths 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 and my mom actually picked this one out for me for Christmas I've never heard of it but it seems like it's like a murder mystery thriller sort of thing going on um so this book basically starts when the main character is in school in the 1990s and something went down now when she's an adult she has covered up this thing basically wanted to leave it in her past and completely bury it but now that she's married has a loving family and husband and a very successful career as a police officer are going for her she thinks that it's in the past and it won't come back up but when her husband convinces her to go back to her high school reunion she is faced with all the people that obviously is from her high school and she's reminded of everything that went down back when she was in school but at this reunion some things get a little bit chaotic one of the people at the reunion actually end up dead so yeah it sounds pretty crazy. I've never heard of it, so let me know if you guys have heard of this book before down in the comments because it seems really good, but I know it's not known in the book community. It doesn't seem that big of a book, so maybe like a fast-paced thriller mystery, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. Lastly, I have Love and Theft by Jocelyn Patton, and this is also a memoir specifically about mental illness. I have not seen this in the book community either. I remember I was doing some research on new book titles that I haven't really heard of, and I came across this one, and it seemed really cool. It's also a very interesting cover. Never seen a cover like this one either. I definitely really enjoy reading books about mental illness just to get like more knowledge into the effects and experiences and what 
people really go through. So whenever I come across something like this, I always want to try to pick it up because it seems like an interesting read and definitely probably holds lessons that I can learn from in the future. But it says, right now in your hands, you hold a story that may seem hard to believe. In Love and Theft, author Jocelyn Patton explores her reality of serious mental illness and its unrelating impact. This tour through her mind touches on anxiety and depression, bipolar disorder, and schizophrenia. No matter what you know about mental illness, you will not be able to put this book down until its final words. So. Just by that synopsis, I was completely hooked and I'm excited to pick this up in the new year and give you guys my review, thoughts and opinions on it. So fun. But yeah, those are all the books in my book haul. <laughs> there was quite a few. I love giving you guys like bigger book hauls because it feels like you guys can add like so many books on your TBR if you like the ones that I'm talking about. And I always love showing you guys new books that you could add. I'm so grateful for all the books that I got for Christmas and I'm excited to go book shopping for more in the new year. So make sure you guys stay tuned for book shopping vlogs. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. Let me know down below what book you guys are most excited to read going into 2023. I'm sure we all have a humongous TBR, but try to name some few so then I can know what you guys are interested in and maybe if I want to read some of those as well. But yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today. With that, I hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!